This video will guide you through adding Perfecto reporting to your test, viewing the report in the multiple test results grid, and as a single test execution report. Let's start by running our sample test. Perfecto reporting is a multiple execution digital report that enables quick navigation within your latest test executions. This Appium code sample is based on the Maven project. It is a simple test using the Perfecto Community app, including installing the native app on an Android device from the lab repository, navigating within the app, closing and uninstalling it. Once the test is completed, the report automatically opens in the default browser. And we can see our test in the grid view, also known as the report library. We can customize our view to see the tests that are relevant to us by using tags. Tags are defined in our test and later in this video we will go into details on how this is done. Since this lab is shared by many users, we can see many test reports, most of which are not relevant to us. Let's customize our view and filter all tests that contain the tag Android Native App Tests that's in our test. We can now see the tests that are relevant to us. Here is our test name and tags, which we defined in our test. Now, let's save our view for future reference. Additionally, we can also open a detailed report of our execution. This report includes complete step-by-step -step execution results, screenshots, and a rich media video. Here you can see the logical steps in our test as separated blocks. as well as the test status that's included within the test stop block. In case of failure, this is where you will find the assertion error. Let's go back to our test and see the different reporting components, such as tags, that we've added. First, we have added the following reportium import statements. Next, we have our reporting client and an optional generic tag called Android Native App Tests. Other examples of tags that can be used here are your username, team name, and test type such as regression, nightly, or smoke test. Now we can start our test and optionally add a test name and any additional specific test tags. Tag names represent a specific test to context. This is what we are essentially testing. For example, in this sample, we are validating a user login into the community app and therefore we have added the tag validate login. Notice that alternatively, we can use existing test names that are derived from any external ID already created as part of another execution framework such as testng. At this point, we can add more specific test steps. Stop our test. and finally open the report in the report library. Remember, adding all of these tags will help create a wider context when using the reporting library. In other words, as we saw in the report library before, we can use these tags to filter and personalize our report library view to get the desired visibility of our text executions. This is also the best way to filter and view reports in shared labs where there are multiple users running tests using reporting. Lastly, since this is a Maven project, we have a pom file that includes the required Perfecto repository and the reporting dependencies. If you're not working with the Maven project, you can alternatively download the latest Perfecto reporting jar files and simply import them directly into your project. 
All code samples, including those shown in this video, templates, and documentation can be found in our Perfecto Code GitHub repositories and wiki pages. Thanks for watching.